Good morning and welcome to this week's Wednesday with Morbus. I hope everyone had a restful and peaceful and exciting spring break. This time of year is a crazy time of year and very busy, so that's one reason today I want to highlight our transportation department and our maintenance department. Here, I'm here at uh, the administration building and we're going to visit with Jay Richardson and his new secretary and they're going to explain to us the process of transportation. So here we have uh, Jay Richardson. He is the Director of Transportation and Maintenance, and I'm going to let him introduce uh, our new secretary. This is Lauren Holsey. She came to us on, in January. Uh, she took Luna Wilms' place, and she has worked out very well, uh, stays busy, and as you see, uh, has a lot to do, a lot of activity trips that she takes care of, as well as maintenance and, and assigning vendors their jobs during the day. Well, Mr. Richardson, I know it's a busy time of year. We have lots of activities uh, all school year, but especially here in the spring. Uh, how many activity trips have we taken up to this point in the school year? From July 1 until yesterday, we've completed 557 activity trips. And I counted today from starting today through the rest of the year on May 24th. We still have 147 more to go. So that's uh, quite extensive. That you know about. That I know about. That's right. <laughs> It's very important that uh, if you need transportation for students that we get that information in very soon. And uh, what's the process of requesting transportation and if it's out of state? We have a form that we that all the coaches and their sponsors fill out for out of state. If it's out of the state of Oklahoma, it has to be board approved. So we encourage all of our activity custodians to turn those things in so we can get them board approved in advance. And then any travel that is within the state of Oklahoma, we require two weeks notice. Doesn't always happen that way. A lot of times with playoffs, coaches do not know, but uh, it's very difficult to find drivers, so we really encourage them to be on time with those forms. Great. Uh, in addition to activity trips, they take activity buses. We also have Suburbans. What type of organizations and people take the Suburbans? Usually the Suburbans are groups of six or less, and a lot of times it's those uh, Coaches or sponsors that have do not have a bus driver's license, um, and if they do have a license and it's six or less, it's more economical to send them on those suburbans, and that's, uh, that's how we handle that. Excellent. Uh, in addition to activity trips, I know that we have lots of busing throughout the day, every school day. Uh, how many bus routes do we have? Roughly, how many students ride? And kind of tell me the schedule throughout the day, somewhat. Right now we have 16 full bus routes that run every day, morning and afternoon. We have three special needs routes that run all day at different times during the day. Um, right now we have about 1,300 kids signed up for the buses. Uh, if they ever all rode, we'd have some trouble because we overload those buses knowing that they're not going to all ride every day. But uh, that's a lot of kids we're transporting every day, and we're very thankful for our drivers because it's not an easy job. But I think they'll all tell you it's rewarding because you get to meet a lot of different people and a lot of different kids. I know you're always looking for bus drivers. Are we currently fully staffed, or where do we stand on bus drivers? Right now, we are one driver short. We're having to find a substitute for one route driver a day. Uh, I will say that uh, Mr. Warbus and the Board of Education approved a raise, $16 an hour for our bus drivers. I'd encourage anybody that's interested to get hold of me. Uh, a lot of people say, I can't do that. It's uh, You don't want me driving a bus, but we train you. It's not that difficult to do. And, you know, a three-hour route is about an extra $8,400 a year. I do know that that would really help your retirement. Uh, it's probably a gross of about $700 a month on your check before taxes. So. I don't know anybody could not use an extra $700 exactly. on their check. So anybody that would be interested in, maybe not this year, but getting certified that you think you might be interested in the future, uh, contact me because we're right now $16 an hour for a beginning. I've got some drivers that have been driving for 17, 18 years. They're up at like 19, almost 20. So it's a, it's a, it's financially rewarding in, in a way also. Well, today at noon, uh, we are having a special board meeting and start the process of bidding, setting the date for the bids for uh, our bonds. And at that time, we'll be able to get our money by June. I think we've already started the process with the busing. Kind of tell us where we're at on the eight activity buses. 
I spoke with uh, our vendor on Monday morning. We ordered our four activity buses, the conventional buses. They should be here back in Oklahoma, ready for the air conditioning and the graphics sometime around the middle of June. And they've told me that we should have them by August 1. Uh, we are currently bidding out our four shuttle buses at this time, and, and I'm just waiting to hear back when those bids are closed. And the first four buying on state contracts? On state contracts. So we don't have to do the bidding. Right. Okay. Very good. Well, thanks, Mr. Richland, for all you do. Uh, I know it's very time consuming and you end up driving a bus and you drive a bus many days. We're very thankful for that. Again, if anyone's interested in being a bus driver, be sure and talk to Mr. Richardson. And again, thank you for everything that you do for Alpha Public Schools. And as always, may God continue to bless Alpha Public Schools.